That boy Shakur sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yeah, he fed up with Top Rank and say that Top Rank don't F with black fighters after Top Rank immediately starts promoting Lomachenko versus Navarati instead of Shakur versus Lomachenko like they promised him. Well, is Top Rank racist towards black fighters? We gonna talk about all that in this video. Was Shakur right or wrong with going off like he did on Twitter? We gonna talk about all of it on this video, but before we do that, make sure you hit my like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's cook on it. Now, everybody saying Shakur go the hell off on X this weekend, right after Lomachenko victory over George Cambosis. You know, Loma, he dominated George Cambosis. Now, everybody is saying that Lomachenko is the best fighter at 135 with Javante Davis. And the issue is crazy because he fought George Cambosis. He was supposed to dominate George Cambosis. Nobody should be surprised that he did what he did to George Cambosis. George Cambosis is a C-level fighter. And boxing fans do this all the time with certain fighters. Just like they did with Isaac Pitbull Cruz at 140 pounds when he stopped Roly. Roly is trash. But all of a sudden, the whole boxing world was talking about how dangerous Pitbull is and how great Pitbull is. Man, y'all need to cut the shit out, for real. Like, come on, man. It's okay to be a casual boxing fan, but y'all taking casual to a whole nother level. Lomachenko is the same Lomachenko that we seen against Jermaine Ortiz that had a tough fight. The same Lomachenko that we seen against Devin Haney that had a tough fight. He just got in there with a sorry opponent in George Cambosis. You know, but yeah, Lomachenko went out there and he did what he was supposed to do. I didn't see nothing more impressive from Lomachenko than I've seen. Lomachenko was much better in his younger years. You got dudes saying that Lomachenko still in his prime and he showed the world. Hey, stop. Just stop. But is Lomachenko still a very good fighter? Yes. He ain't in his prime no more. But he's still a real good fighter and he's still a threat to any fighter on any given night. Now, do I think that Lomachenko can beat a Tank Davis or Shakur Stevenson? Hell no. Nah. But he's going to compete with all of them and he'll give them a cool fight. But anyway, so Lomachenko, after his win, the ESPN commentators immediately started asking Lomachenko about a Navarati fight and a Javante Davis fight. Now, first, let me get to the Javante Davis situation, right? Now, Javante Davis is very smart because Tank Davis tweeted during the fight that he was going to fight Vasil Lomachenko next. Tank is smart because Tank has a fight coming up with Frank Martin. And we've been seeing Tank do a lot of things to promote his fight with Frank Martin. Now, what Tank did is he said what he said because he knew that it was going to go viral. And then once Lomachenko spoke after the fight, the commentators was going to bring up his name. So what better way to have ESPN bring up Javante Davis's name than by doing what Tank did, tweeting that he wants to fight Lomachenko next and making it go viral. Now, do I believe that Tank Davis is even thinking about a Lomachenko fight next? Hell no. Nah. He just did it so the whole world can say his name and so they can say his name on ESPN. Smart move. So Tank is clearly doing whatever he got to do to promote this fight because now he's going to get somebody that don't have a Mexican fan base and somebody that's really not going to go out of their way to promote because Frank Martin is quiet himself. Now, when it comes to Shakur Stevenson, this is the important player in this whole conversation because Shakur and Loma, they both on the top rank. Shakur has been calling out Lomachenko for a while now. Matter of fact, Lomachenko clearly ducked Shakur Stevenson because Lomachenko could have been fighting Shakur for that vacant WBC strap. Lomachenko said that he needed some time off and he needed to go to his country or whatever he said, right? But immediately after that, Top Rank announced that Lomachenko was going to be fighting George Cambosis for the vacant IBF strap. At that point, 
I knew that Lomachenko just did not want to fight Shakur Stevenson. Lomachenko looks at Shakur as somebody that's a very tough fight. And let's just keep it real. Loma don't think that he can beat Shakur. So at this point in Lomachenko's career, he definitely not looking to take another loss. So him seeing George Cambosis and them giving him the opportunity to fight George Cambosis for a vacant strap. He like, man, this is this dude is fool. This is an easy fight. It's an easy way for me to pick up a vacant IBF strap and to become a champion in the weight division again. Because everybody know George Cambosis ain't that good. Everybody knows that Lomachenko is levels above George Cambosis. So a lot of people would say Lomachenko just made the smarter move. But meanwhile, Bob Arum at top rank was promising Shakur if Loma won the strap off of George Cambosis, they was going to try to make a unification bout between Lomachenko and Shakur Stevenson. Now, when I heard that, first thing I said is I hope that Shakur don't believe that. Shakur is coming up as a free agent, and of course, they're going to promise you a fight that they know that you've been wanting, but you haven't been able to get. Now that you're going to be a free agent and they need to resign you, of course, they're going to tell you, well, what we're doing is we're setting up a fight between you and Lomachenko so it could be a unification bout. They're supposed to tell you that it's called business. But you should have known if Lomachenko has never been willing to fight you, how is Bob Arum or anybody at top rank going to promise you that fight when you know how Bob works? The only way that Lomachenko would be willing to fight Shakur is if Bob is willing to overpay him to make that fight happen. And we know that Bob is not going to go out of his way to overpay to make that fight happen and see Lomachenko lose when he thinks the world of Lomachenko. Lomachenko is Bob's right hand man. Bob love him some Lomachenko. Everybody know that. I mean, sometimes you got to look at the bigger picture and know the play when they laying it down. Now, do I think that Bob in top rank would make a Lomachenko fight if that's the fight that Lomachenko asked for and Lomachenko wanted to fight? Yeah, they would make it because they pretty much going to try to do anything they can for Lomachenko. Look what they did with this IBF belt. Come on, man. They found George Cambosis, who basically got his ass beat by Maxi Hughes to fight Lomachenko for a vacant strap. They gave Lomachenko somebody that they know he could be so he could become a champion again. So they're not finna feed Lomachenko to you, Shakur, if they don't think that Lomachenko can beat you. Bob Arum did a whole interview saying that he believes nobody at 135 beat Shakur Stevenson. So you got to pay attention to these things. Now Shakur Stevenson, he didn't went on a rant talking about top rank, don't F with black fighters and Floyd Mayweather didn't told him and other people didn't told him and he pretty much should have listened because now he's seeing it for himself. It could be true. I don't work for top rank. I'm not in the inside, so I don't know how they move, right? But the thing is, Shakur, you've come out years ago and you've talked about top rank in these certain situations saying that they don't mess with black fighters and they ain't doing what they supposed to do to promote you. So if you really feel this way, you've been doing this. But I feel that you have to look at each situation individually. In this situation, I don't think it's a top rank don't F with Shakur because he black. I think it's just like I said, they can't make Vasil Lomachenko fight somebody that he's not interested in fighting. And Bob Arum, he not going to overpay Vasil Lomachenko to get in the ring with Shakur Stevenson, especially because he loves Lomachenko and he don't want to see Lomachenko lose just as much as Lomachenko don't want to have another L on his record. So it ain't a top rank in Bob Arum thing. It's a Lomachenko thing. If Lomachenko want the fight, they'll make the fight happen. If Lomachenko don't want the fight, they not going to make the fight happen. And as far as them promising you behind the scenes a Lomachenko fight, you should have common sense enough to know that they can't promise you nothing unless the fighter wants it. And that's just my opinion on the whole situation. Now, Shakur has said what he said about top rank. And you let the world know how you feel about it. 
You can't resign back with him now. You can go with Eddie Hearn if that's what you want to do and, you know, deal with Matchroom. Eddie Hearn, he's a great promoter. Uh, you can go with PBC if PBC is willing to offer you a Javante Davis fight in writing. But one thing you can't do is you can't re-sign back to top rank. Because it's going to look real crazy if you re-sign back to top rank after everything you didn't said about it. I said the same thing about Bud Crawford when he went on his rant about top rank and top rank not supporting him and all of that. I said, hey, after Crawford fights Sean Porter, ain't no way he can sign back with top rank. So you kind of in the same predicament, not the same predicament, you know, all the way around. But you get what I'm saying. You got to chunk the deuce to him now, dog. And I know the situation between you and Jay Prince. And I also understand that all the Jay Prince fighters, they only do business with top rank. But hey, if you got to leave Jay Prince and it ain't no more mob ties, that's what you're going to have to do. At the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you. So with all that being said, y'all make sure y'all hit my like button. I want to hear from y'all. What's y'all thought on all of this? Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already sub. And y'all already know how I do. Dango talking that boxing again. And I'm gone. Two miles per hour. So everybody see. I'm right, right.